Hello, Polygoners! Welcome to another Polygon production that makes I. I Hello, Polygoners! Welcome to another Polygon gaming production that makes me Shaft! And we've got two exciting players for you, and this is ZVZ. You already know their names because you read the title. However, I'm still going to introduce them because here in the bottom right hand side, playing for Root Gaming, he is the smartest Zerg alive. He is Nero. And his opponent. Already going with some fast links to his opponent's third. He's none other than the incredibly economic, usually pretty greedy, pretty mineral heavy player. He's game time. Now, in order to be that mineral heavy, he usually goes for some type of offense. And in this particular game, he is going for a slightly faster uh, link speed than his opponent. He is actually also going for a faster baneling nest than his opponent and uh, is actually staying a little bit heavier on the uh, the gas than normally might expect his opponent has pulled off his one worker from that gas two workers only on the gas one worker two worker actually being pulled off here so he is going for an incredibly uh economic game i guess uh maybe he thought those were the, those were intended to be lings i'm not a hundred percent sure because pulling them off that early under no circumstances would benefit him to go mine there because he's not even hit the eight mark until just now in any case we got a little bit of ling wars going on here bane links being morphed here for a hero on the defensive side of the map we do have bane links for game time as well so Nero actually going to be, uh, be forced to cancel those two. A great control here by game time and uh, some some really, really, really strong control here by both these players. But it looks like game time is going to allow this one Baneling here to complete. However, Banelings of his own swinging in here and really doing some damage here to Nero's. Uh, worker count so four workers have been lost here that's a that's a decent pickup but 36 workers are behind this and uh, you see game time also taking his third base and does now as well have a roach worm being uh, started at this third base hey Carter <laughs> thanks man uh, that's actually a Carter messaging me I appreciate that man uh, doing a little bit of recording but this is a player who is actually returning to Starcraft 5.3 K GM and he is saying hi to everyone I was on a stream a little bit earlier I guess he's saying thank you in any case this Roach Warren getting targeted down now looks like ah! oh no cancel there by uh, game time that is huge Nero getting a huge pickup on that I no game time is not going to be happy about that and uh nero actually starting his own roach warren as well as an evolution chamber as uh, at his natural oh <gasps> great pick up there by nero on those bane ling that bane ling um on those links oh my god i'm learning how to or forgetting how to how to speak today guys seizure mouth um and that plus one ranged is going to be started as well for uh for nero so we'll see what game time can do here. He's definitely got the better economy, but this micro for Nero. Game time trying to get in here and do some economic damage, but he's got to uh to know that he's lost a lot of units, but he is ahead. And while he has seen that this evolution chamber is researching something, he has to assume it is either plus one carapace to help both the the lings and the roaches or a plus one ranged attack and since he is starting his own we will uh, probably say it's safe to assume he knows that his opponent is going to be doing that as well because let's face it plus one ranged kills lings a lot quicker good pickups there by nero on the the bane ling oh and that was actually a great pickup by game time going ahead and killing off that second bane ling and uh, we'll see if he sw sends in a second dairy lings to uh to take advantage of that or if he just wants to continue droning up as he is uh now 13 workers ahead of his opponent working on his uh that's gonna be his yeah that is definitely his fifth and sixth gas he's not actually mining out of this one i don't know if he's just forgot to or or what's going on there but this overseer gonna be poking in here does see uh these have been started so yeah, Nero is not going to know that, well, he could poke in here and click it. I want to see if he clicks it. 
does not look like he's going to click it. So at this point, this is a this is going to be a pretty intense game. It's really going to come down to this fourth base for game time because game time is a one. Actually, I don't. Oh, what did we miss? Oh my God, guys, let's back it up. We missed something. That that's got to be huge. What the what the heck was that? How did... Okay, so that was really epic. I'm not sure how those Banelings got in there. If they just walked their way up there. Is there a drop overlord? Not 100% sure how that just happened, guys. But either way, a couple of Banelings definitely getting into there. Still very close to all worker counts now. That's only just now evening it. For uh, for for near her uh, game times, just not worried about it. Cause let's face it, this base is gonna be mining out. And he can just saturate this, which he is indeed doing. Both players working on the plus two. Looks like Nero slightly ahead on that front. Neither player choosing to go for Carapace. And what the the heck? Okay, so I'm assuming that this is a drop overlord, cause that's just a really funky looking overlord there. Yep, another drop. It had to have been drops by Nira. Not sure. Maybe the queen killed it off? Not 100%. And while that is going to be uh, happening... Oh, it's not going to be Banelings. He's actually going to drop roaches in here. Okay. And there we go. We are going to have a fight here as well. So right now we have eight workers have been or lost by Nero, but 10 have been killed by Nero. So while that is going to be going on, we'll see how this attack swings out. Because there's not actually a lot of defense, and this was really just a mind game by Nero. Like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it earlier in this game or in the previous game, uh, Nero is definitely one of the smartest players on the ladder, if not in the world. So if he's going to win, it's going to be with really smart plays. And he is already showing how sickeningly good he is. He does pull off uh, uh, two of those manages to save them. Holy cow. Game time, definitely a strong player. But Nero's a smart player. So we'll see how which one comes up. Raw brute force with this fourth base that uh, I still don't think Nero knows about. No, Nero still does not know about this. Or will it be the economic player who has just been playing everything perfectly so far? Really great micro. Oh my god, he is like stutter stepping these roaches and ravagers. That is sick, and I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think uh, Nero is actually going to be losing this. He is 50 army supply behind his opponent. He is also behind on economy. Not to mention he does not have a third base. Nero now seeing that third base, trying to do a little bit of harassment. But now his opponent's barreling into his natural, sees a huge clump of roaches. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that's going to be all she wrote. Plus one carapace has been started now for game time. Or for, uh, for Nero, rather. And now for game time. Um, I, I guess I timed that out just about perfectly. Yeah, I meant to say game time. Sure, sure. But, uh, yeah. Definitely 60 roach supply ahead of his opponent. And while roaches are pretty beefy, so that could be a uh, gluttonous in either case. It's just not uh, the case here. Game time taking a victory against Root's very own Nero. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming. If you like this content and this is your first time here, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you like what we're doing here today and want to support what we're doing tomorrow, make sure you smash that Patreon button. Until next time, guys, I am Shaft, Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.